Since you know the Bible. Where does it say that women are strong in the Bible? So women aren't strong. Where does it say that in the Bible? Tell your Nazi piece of shit to get You're the Nazi. You hate God, don't you? You hate God. You're the Nazi. You hate God. You love him with your mouth. You love him with your little lip service. You love God with your little lip service. Your heart is far away from God. Your heart, your heart is far away from God. So far away from God, it's in the garbage. In the bottom of the sea. That's how far away from God you are. Just like a lot of these people. Is that F word in the Bible? Is that F word in the Bible, sir? Yes. Mary, Mary was the mother of God. She was a saint, and that's all she was. God didn't give Mary no special privileges. There you go. Go stand from your son. Poor example of the father. That's what you are. Poor example of the father. Doing that type of stuff in front of your son. Go have a good time with him. You just said you no power in front of my son. Yeah, I did. I did say that. I did say that. What did you say that in the Bible? I did say that women don't have no power. That's in the Bible. You know the natural order. God, man, and woman. Woman was made for man. That's what the Bible says. Now I'm racist. Now I'm racist. That makes a lot of sense. You want to be fighting? Go get a new biker vest. Get some patches on there. Earn your stripes. I got my stripes. Go get your stripes. Go get some patches. Go get some patches on that want to be biker vest. Go get some patches on your want to be biker vest. Is that what you call that? Is this what you're showing your son? You need to read the Bible, son. No, you need to read the Bible. Daddy's not teaching you the Bible, obviously. Daddy's not teaching you the Bible, son. Raise your child in the ways in the ways of God. You're a fucking POS. You guys might take him to hell. You guys might lead him to hell. You guys might lead him to hell. Hey. Okay. Somebody get some security out here before this gets hot. Okay. Somebody you know, like SpongeBob, 
Bud Barney. Bud uh, Bob? No, I haven't I'm met Bud Bob. Yes, yes, Jesus lives within me. That's right. The King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Oh, it's gay, is it? Everything's gay. Look, uh, just because you faggots have ruined Portland doesn't mean it's all about you today. I didn't want to come out here and preach to homos, but apparently it's all homos out here that want to kiss and make out and make everything about them. Well, it's not everything about you. Just because God made it about you when he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah does not mean every day is for the homos. June's coming, wait your turn. Today we're here for the nerds. We're here for the weirdos. We're here for the wax dogs. You're too scared to come out. You're uh, too scared to come out. Oh, that's his best comeback. <laughs> He's too scared. He's really gay. That's really what it is. You just never met a real man. That's your problem, buddy. You never met a real man. And I'm a real man. Uh, no. No, you're, you're far from that. I do see a lot of cats in your future, though. A lot of cats. Yeah, that's why you can't get a real man. You see blood in your mouth. And then you got this weirdo. Of course the country thinks Portland is weird. There's no question about it. Uh, but the real question is, when are you going to get right with the God of the Bible? Jesus Christ shed his blood on the cross for you, and this is how you thank him, by acting like the devil, loving the sin. You love your sin so much that God is actually hates you. That's what the Bible says. Uh, go ahead. Then why do you guys consume the flesh and blood of Christ and we're the same worshippers? Uh, we're not Catholics. That's just some bread and some wine. Yeah. Uh, but here's the thing about that. That doesn't save us. No, no. That doesn't no. save us. But Jesus said, unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. That's the word of Jesus. Uh, but Jesus is not here in the flesh and blood, but we have his word. And Jesus said, in the beginning was the word. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word of God is before you today here in Portland. I, I don't care if you like it. I don't care if you cry like a snowflake. But the reality is you're going to stand before this God that we're preaching about. And you're going to give an account on Judgment Day. Judgment Day is coming. Judgment Day. Day is coming. And when you get there, I hope you I'm ready to be judged. I'm ready. Uh, because I have an advocate with the Father, who is Christ Jesus. You don't have an advocate. You're going to hellfire unless you repent, unless you get right with Jesus. You're a fake Jew. And a pathetic excuse for a human being as well. That you cut yourself up and mutilate yourself. You couldn't accept yourself, but you want me to accept you. No, we don't Shame on you. I don't accept you. I don't accept you. I don't tolerate you, and I don't respect you. I respect God and God's holy word. And God's holy word calls you an abomination. He calls the wicked what they are. Wicked. He doesn't care about your feelings. He doesn't care what you think. And just the day you'll find out just who God is. And there are only two genders that will stand before God. Male and female. Just the way he created them. And if you got a problem with that, you take it up with your creator. God. Don't make it about me. Make it about you and God. That's your problem. You're too concerned with the things of this world. It's God and it's time. But that's why we're here to remind you that God is watching. Oh, yeah. you're going to shut me up? You're going to shut me up? You ain't shutting nobody up. And then for centuries, you could not shut up the Word of God. You could not shut up the Christian. And today, in 2018, Christians are still here. Oh, the Muslims are still here, too. And you don't care about them. They're molesting children, raping, murdering. But you're, the real problem is the Christians, right? You need to have a problem with the Muslim and the way they evangelize, not the way the Christians evangelize. Uh, how can we call it? Diversity, please. Honor diversity. Honor diversity. Yes. Yes. Honor diversity. 
be tolerant, you know, your logo, Portland. Accept me, tolerate me. Where are the peaceful people? Where are the people? Oh, I've been peaceful. I haven't hurt anybody in like three days. Three days? What the fuck? Watch your mouth. God heard that. God heard it. No, I don't give out hugs. I don't want an STA or whatever it is that you got going on. The Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God. You're seeking yourself. You're seeking to escape reality. That's why you're here. That's why you love your fake heroes, your fake news. Everything about you is fake. Got to get real with the real God, the one real superhero that shed his blood for you on the cross. Hey, if you want to reject that, go to hell, go right ahead. You want to take your kid to hell, go right ahead. But I'm going to show for you. The Bible says that's love. But this is not love. The Bible says love does not rejoice in iniquity. That's why God hates this. That's why God is disgusted by this, and Christians are disgusted by this. Oh, you better hope not, as quickly as you are. You better hope not. Oh, you be crying. Ain't no tough guys standing before God. I'll tell you that right now. No tough guys stand before the King of Kings. They're all weeping, wailing, and gnashing their teeth. Which is they listen to the preacher? Which is that they have actually heeded the word of God? And that's why we're here, so that you would heed the word of God and not die in your sin. But God says, why will you choose death? Why will you die in your sin? He gave you a savior, and you rejected him. You reject the word of God. You reject salvation. Well, don't cry when you end up in hell fire. Because that is your eternal punishment for living your life the way it is right now. God created you for his purpose. She's been listening the whole time. Oh, nice. That's real ladylike. No wonder you're single. No wonder. Uh, that's your women for you. No wonder there's so many faggots around here. And any real ladies around here. Wicked, wicked, wicked. And no wonder the preacher showed up out here. Nothing but sluts, whores, faggots, a bunch of weirdo crack jobs out here. Of course you attracted the attention of the righteous. Of course. Because the Bible says that when the wicked come in like a flood, God will raise up a standard, a standard of righteousness. And that standard is before you today. The God of the Bible has declared what is righteous and what is wicked. And you can choose this day whom you will serve. The Bible says, choose ye this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. The Lord God who has the power to destroy both the body and the soul in hellfire. You serve yourself and you're a loser. You serve a loser. I serve fellow man. I serve a loser. You serve a loser who has no power. I serve a living savior. Why don't you tell them about the part where you're a pedophile? That's why you showed up to Comic Con, old man. We got a pedophile over here. We got an asshole over here. Wow, God, we got an asshole. Uh, why are you shaking? It's cold. It's not that cold. I think your body is having a hard time holding itself up. Try push-ups, pull-ups. Why and try to flip the pages of your Bible, reading your Bible. Why are you wearing a jacket if it's not cold? Uh, because I'm comfortable. I'm smart. Uh, I'm smart. Jacket, because if you're cold and you don't have one on, then you're not smart. You're retarded. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, back to that. Uh, God thinks you're retarded if you don't fear him. He's not a trans testicle. Captain America is a real man. Are you a real man? Goodness gracious. Yes. Satan has no power. Satan's nothing. God got to get out with mine. What? Your God got to get out with mine. Are you getting emotional? Oh no, I'm not getting emotional. You sound like it. Oh, pink out of shape. You're the one who's fucking forcing me to Whoa. Are you a wearing keyboard elf that can turn to death? Are you a keyboard elf that turned for death? So you're a guy wow. that's the lowest oh, What's wrong with you guys? Hey, I'm being very loving to you guys. I'm being, I'm being very loving. I don't want you to go to hell. 
Is this part of your cosplay? It is against the court. It's against the law. Yeah, go call a cop. Call a cop. Just go. That's right, Donovan. Just go. Come on, man. We're just trying to have a good time, dude. Well, go have a good time then, dude. Okay. Okay. What you think I am? I don't care about you. I'm not even here for you. I'm here for everybody else but you. Okay. So I got a question. Is it wrong that Jesus was born with children? Is that wrong? Is that wrong? Is that wrong? No you like that Sunday school song? You didn't graduate Sunday school? He didn't, he didn't graduate. He don't love you. He don't love you. He's lying to you. He's probably a pervert. He probably needs a woman, so he's just stepping up to anybody. Oh, what does the Bible say? I'm loving you. I don't want you to go to hell. You're being an asshole. Well, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. You made someone cry in public. That's fine. Jesus made a lot of people cry. And you're being an asshole. What are you going to do about it? Jesus made a lot of people cry. You ain't big enough to do anything about it. Really? Yeah, really. Really? Really? I don't really? have the strength to do anything about it. Uh, no, but you can sit there and cry like sure. a little cut beta. You can do that all you want. You sit there and act oh, angry. You, like you know you ain't gonna do nothing. Are you part of Antifa? You're part of Antifa, aren't you? I mean, I get those at Goodwill. Down there, I take you in the middle of the downtown Portland. Low down hippie. There's a new one, a hippie. You guys look like you know what a hippie is? Yes, I know what a fucking hippie. Because I ain't anywhere close to a hippie. Yeah, Donovan, come on. Donovan, just go. Listen to the women. Go on, Donovan. Oh no. Listen to the women. Women power. They're just getting angry, everybody. You wouldn't like him when he gets angry. His ears might grow bigger. He's got blood on his mouth. He'll probably start eating people's faces. Hey, hey. He's on Flocka. Donovan, she's telling you to go. Wow. Listen, listen to them, Donovan. Bye, Donovan. Bye, Donovan. Everybody wave at Donovan. 